to Lausanne. So let's uh, take you on a quick tour today and we're going to show you the must-sees of Lausanne. So if you only have one day to come, we're going to show you the must-sees to, to go and visit. And um, right now we are kind of in the center of the uh, city. Um, the population of Lausanne, in case you're wondering, is about 160,000. Uh, what language do we speak here, girls? French. 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 And it's the capital of Vaux. It's the capital of Vaux. It's located on Lake Geneva, so we're about maybe 25 minutes, 30 minutes from Geneva, and um, yeah. across from Avion. So there's the city. Here we go. Enjoy the tour. So basically here in Lausanne they have a lot of escape rooms where like you go onto a room for 60 minutes and you have 60 minutes to get out of the room. So then like there's different ones like prison or like things just like that or rooms like a bedroom or something like that and they like program everything and then if they see and after 60 minutes they see if you're still like out or not. You managed to escape? Yeah. Very cool. What's like behind you? Church. A big church. Let's go find out the name of it. So right here behind us is the Cathedral de Lausanne. So it's a big huge cathedral as you can see. Um, there's also a historical museum here which we've never seen but we should probably take the girls there to visit it one day. And um, I was reading just over there that they have tours, so you can do almost like a walking tour. It starts at the city hall, uh, it said that it was 10 francs per person and kids were free and it lasts about two hours, so probably highly recommended to do because you learn the history of the city and um, we always just find that walking tours are just really, really good to do to learn, learn the city, history, life and um, get to know the, the city. So basically at the end of the video, there's this hidden thing that we are going to destroy you. It's like a hidden treasure of Lausanne. Nobody knows about it, so you have to watch the end of the video to see what we're going to show you. So guess yeah. what it is. We'll let them guess. We didn't know. We were reading. We were like, hmm, what is it? All right, we're going to go inside. Let's see what it's like inside the church. Something cool to know also about this church is that it was built in the year 1170. So how is that said? 1170? Or how do you say it? 1170 or 1170? What's the correct way to say that year? I think it's 1170. 1170, so a long time ago. It used to be a Catholic church and then became a Protestant church. So they fought over it and they won and now it is a Protestant church. So. No longer masses and only, um, what would you call it? Not a mass, but a service, I guess. In French, they call the service a cult, so a cult, which is kind of funny because in English, the word cult is something like kind of, I don't know, taboo that you don't want to be a part of. But in French, it's like a Christian way of saying the church service. Much like, what did you think is so cool here? It's my name. It's it says church evangelique. Evangelique, Church Evangelique. It has your name in it? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I want to ask you, how many churches have we been to so far in Europe? At least a hundred. You think so? Or you know? more. 200. I don't think we've, we stopped counting because every single city we go to, there's a church and we go in and we visit it. <laughs> and then we kind of got tired of visiting churches, but that one was really cool. Um, well, I went there on Monday. It's like a fair with a whole bunch of rides. I went there on Monday with my friend. It's four francs per ride. 
Yeah, well, you should pay rides. Well, no, not, it depends on the ride you're going on. It's different prices for the rides. Cool. We're going to check it out? Yeah. That's in a place called Ushi, and you have to take the metro but down. But it's only a couple weeks of the year. Like, only, I think it's only in May or something like that. Like, I think it ends this weekend. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what my friend's dad said, so I don't know. So we'll find out. Yeah. So Lausanne is on a hill, like a mountain. Like you always have to go up or down or up and down. So right now we're going down all these stairs. And um, then you can take like a funicular if you don't want to walk up all the streets. And or you have to just go up and down stairs and up and down streets. So wear good walking shoes, something comfy and uh, bring some water because you'll need it if it's a hot day like today. Uh, stay hydrated and stuff like that. So. Yes, there's three main areas of Lausanne. One is like the old town. There's a place called Le Flon, which is F-L-O-N, and it's kind of like where all the nightlife is, um, a lot of stores and such, so we'll show you there. It's really cool because once you're there, you can see all different levels of the city from like, it's like, it's just really cool. You'll have to see it. And then um, there's Ushi, which is down by the water, and um, you'll see what that's like soon too. That's where Luna Park is. That's where Luna Park is. They have like, you can go swimming there. They have a lot of activities that they do throughout the summer. And uh, it's really cool. So like all Swiss villages and cities, you can have easy access through all the public transit, whether it's the bus, the boat, the train, um, everything, right? Mm -hmm. So here we're coming up to a place called Place de la Ricon. This is where they have markets every Wednesday and Saturday. And um, the whole square opens up to be a market. And there's either a parliament office or it's a town hall or it's something. Julia, a while back, a couple years ago, came with her class or just a few people from the class. And what do you do there, Julia? Um, like you go and then you have to like, you say what you want, for example, if the bus should be for like, how old should you be for it to be free? And then there's like a judge there and then they'll like see. So basically you can make up a vote. Yeah, and then we went into like groups and then like the, they have to all like agree and then they ask the judge, like somebody tells the person and then when then they see. So it was in this building behind us, so I'll show you over here. So what's really cool about Switzerland is it has 100% um, democracy. And the way it works is anytime they want to vote on something, they can do a referendum. If they get X amount of people to sign a petition, they can make a nationwide vote. And unlike other countries where it's a handful of people who, who vote on something, here everybody votes. So you, you get something in the mail and you basically fill it out and, and you vote on uh, certain subjects. So it's really cool because it's true democracy. This is the building behind. I'm not sure if you can see it really good. But that's where Julia went and uh, learned about the, the system and how it all works here and making different um, issues. Like she was saying, like you can either say, should we have a bus at this time or this time? Or Well, no, the bus was like, should it be like under 16 where it's free or like above or like different? So you like could that. suggest something to vote on and then you guys had a vote, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's some cantons where they still vote by hand. So they literally stay in a, a square and they lift up their hands to see if the majority wins on certain issues. So there's only one little town that still does that, but it still exists here in Switzerland. So very, very old school. So there you have it. More and more and more stairs. You go up and down and up and down and up and down. It's got such cool character though, doesn't it? Okay, so here is the secret to the start of the video when we said there's something hidden in Lausanne that you might not know about. It's right behind us. Do you want to explain what it is, Angelique? Basically a clock that every hour 
a guy starts talking and these little things start moving around in circles and then after like then he says goodbye and then the next hour that comes by he says hi again and then he says goodbye every hour yeah it's right up there and it's basically signifies um when the bernese and the vaudois were fighting and the vaudois conquered and got uh, had victory over it so they play this little clock every hour um and it represents that so they tell a little bit of a story which uh, you can see right here check out this fountain you guys this it's fountain 1726 years old no it was they made it in 1726 I mean. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> sounds pretty old though it is an they old fountain painted it again. yeah they probably restored it but it's a pretty cool fountain isn't it where the walking tour starts from that I was telling you about earlier and this is City Hall so in French Hotel de Ville and they have these really cool things at the very top of the building I don't know if you can see it really good they have a nice clock and then these like things that look like flying alligators or something that are protecting it you think they're lions I don't know if they're lions or what they are this is the store right here Slide all the way up there. So yeah. Have fun. <laughs> you take it with me. That's where you get out. No, I think. Um, one sec. No, over here. Okay. This is over here. Back at the toy store. Okay, goes to the kelpies. <laughs> I hear them coming. Do you go pretty fast? When you start on one side, you are on this street, and then when you go down the stairs, you end up on the other street. That's so typical of Switzerland because everything's built on a hill. Something that's really confusing in Lausanne, it's it's kind of confusing because we just came from like up there and then you go this way and then it goes up that way so it's just like which way is down so usually in Swiss towns I find it easy because you go either up or down but here it's like up or up so let's go find out how it works. This is like a typical street with all the stores so it's so cool look at the building at the end of the street there it's really pretty and here's one of our favorite stores look at this store over here this is one of your favorites that we're gonna show you. Kiko Milano. Kiko Milano makeup. This is the benefit of having girls. You get to go to stores like that and they actually enjoy it. If I had three boys, it'd be completely different, but let's go see what they have inside. It's kind of like Mac, but you have better pricing. So. I think these are like a child. Do you like it? Do you like Kiko? Yeah, look at Voyage. Off the yeah, that's pretty. Can I get two? If you want. This is what you spend your allowance on? Yeah. Can I get two? This area here is basically called Flon, and it's, um, I'm not sure if you can really see it very well, but it's on several levels. So we're quite high right now. And as you can see down there, they, they go below. Let me just see if over here I can show you the perspective of where we are. That's cool. That's another store where you go inside on one level and then you come out like three levels down below. So it's pretty neat. There we go. Here you get the perspective of the, the difference. So there is just down below. So to get down, you take those stairs over there. Go down, 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 down. And we're going to show you this one spot. If it's still there, it's like a transparent bathroom. Yeah, we'll put some video clips from a long time ago when we were here. It was a toilet and you go in and then it's see-through and then you press a button and then it becomes opaque. Look at this person's garden on top of their roof. They have a, like a garden. That's so cool. And a terrasse up there. Wall. Tell us about it, Angelique. It's all grass and plants. It's a garden wall and a garden roof. It's like a green roof. That's so cool, isn't it? This is a better perspective. You can see like the different levels of the streets and everything like that. So you got this level, then you've got this bridge going over here, you've got elevators going up and down, you've got stairs. 
There's the metro that takes you down to the lake by Ushi. But it's like just a really neat kind of, um, I don't know, dimension. You've got all these different dimensions here. Right now we're in the train station in Lausanne and basically they have some really cool trains here because they have the TGVs that come in every day. Some going to Milan, others going to Paris. Um, to go from Paris directly from here is about three hours on the high speed train. So really fast, really efficient and um, there you have it. So there's how many tracks here girls? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there only six? But well, what's that one off? Where do you see one off? Oh yeah, there's like nine tracks here. All right, let's go see Ushi. You ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to just Ushi. To my nails. Now we're gonna take the metro to Ushi. So we just um, came to show you guys what the train station is like here and uh, talk about the high speed trains. So here we go. Here we go, it says Lausanne-Plon. So you can take a metro to go up so if you don't want to walk all the way up to Flon, where we were, or you could go down to Ushi, which is by the lake. So right now we're going to go to Ushi and we're going to go see if they still have Luna Park going on because Julia really wanted to see and show us the rides there. where you can go swimming but I'm not sure if you can see it from the roadside I think you have to like pay and go in to be able to see it but maybe right now we're gonna head over because they still have this um, Luna Park that the girls really wanted to see yeah. we might go on a ride it's or a two fair. it's a fair and it lasts how long a couple weeks I think okay oh my gosh this is crazy look at this ride I felt like it was gonna hit me. That ride is crazy. You have to be a certain age. All right, let's see which one we're gonna pick to go on. Can I take two, please? So where are we? Luna yeah. Park. What? Luna, Luna Park. Park. We're at Luna Park in Lausanne. Let's eat dinner here. Why? 
because you like Thai, I think. It's Thai food? Look at yeah. this. Here's some pricing for you. 13 francs for a dish. Pad Thai. This is really cool. If you like Thai food, this is the place to be. Is it Thai? It is. It's a Thai festival in Switzerland. How cool is that? <laughs> This area here of Lausanne is called Le Flon and it's where there's a lot of nightlife that happens, a lot of bars, there's construction going on here but these are different um, places where people, when young people hang out, that place over there called the Mad is a known place. Um, also when we were here four years ago, um, Angelique, what was it, remember that was really cool? There was toilets that were see-through. See-through toilets? And then you click a button and then it becomes like... I can't see it. I'm just the toilet. Julia! <laughs> leave it off, leave it off. Yeah, you can't really see it. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? It's supposed to be. This here is their movie theater and they have a this movie pass actually that the way it works is you can buy um, a pass for 40 bucks a month and you can go to unlimited movies so it's a pretty good deal. So girls why are all these flags here? So we have here the Olympic Tonga. Museum that you can go see and the Olympic headquarters here in Lausanne. There's this thing saying 141 days, 19 hours. No, 1,141 days. 1,141 days, 19 hours and 44 minutes till the next Olympic Games. Wow, that's in a long time. Yeah. That's cool. I thought oh, that's going to be Tokyo 2020. Chloe's getting tired because we've had a long day so far. We've been walking, walking, walking. Something you do a lot of when you're in Switzerland. So make sure you wear comfy shoes, which we didn't do today. So even myself, I'm a little bit getting sore in my legs. <laughs> but here's the thing. When you're walking here, it's just so beautiful. It's so relaxing, so peaceful. Let me show you what's behind us because you can see the Lavo area over here. If I turn around. You see in a distance what we're seeing, it's like completely therapeutic and just something you have to do when you are in any city in Switzerland is enjoy the lake fronts because most of them, they all have these really nice long walkways that you can just totally take in and enjoy and it's just beautiful. So we're on our way to the Olympic Museum just to show you the building. We're not actually going to go inside because we're going to run out of time. It's already six o'clock. It might be closed already, I'm not sure. but. We'll at least show you the outside of the building because that is a must-see when you come to Lausanne. So this is it right behind us. So they have the Olympic headquarters. This is where everything takes place. Decisions are made for future Olympics, marketing, everything goes on here. And um, it's also a museum that you can go and enjoy. There's the Olympic flame burning. Their grounds are like absolutely amazing. Let's see if we can go inside on Chalik. So as you're leaving, they have like a high jump. And I just want to show you the pricing. So I just picked up the brochure. They're just closed now. But here you go. So an adult is 18 francs. Kids up to six are free. And six to 16 are 16. Um, the man inside said you want to count maybe a good hour and a half. Because you can actually see where we live. There's the highway that you see towards us. And that's the valley over there saying that if we could see the highway and we could see the dip in the mountain where there's the um, what is it called in English the mining area yeah. where they're mining the rocks so we're trying to see if we can see our house from here I, I can't see the house but I can see like the city you can see Villeneuve yeah, see in a distance you can see where they're mining the rock right at the point right there 
So every day they blast the rock and that supplies the whole canton, canton of Vaux for building the roads and building the train Mommy, tracks. Look? Yeah, sure. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to go check out our Musical.ly account called Growing Up WB.